Yo, Wagwan Nation, it's that guy. We're doing another dreadlock review today. Freeform Friday, Mr. Cam Newton, NFLer, pro footballer. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is the Not Nation. The Nation. Cam Newton's been requested quite a bit here on the channel lately. Now, we've done a lot of videos in the NFL footballers in the past. And today is nothing any different except for this dude has some freeform locks in the NFL. And this is quite remarkable for me because it means you got to wear a helmet with dreads. And that doesn't always work, especially with freeform locks. The helmet kind of compresses and will change the shape or, or so it feels like it does anyways. But today we're going to dive into Cam Newton's locks, see what they're looking like in this progression and really see if the helmet is messing about with his developmental of his dreads, if that makes any sense. So moving right into this dreadlock review, we got Mr. Cam Newton, Cameron Newton, American football quarterback for the Carolina Panthers of the NFL. He played college football at Florida and Auburn, drafted his first overall pick by Panthers in 2011. Born May 11th, 1989, 30 years old. And we can see some older pictures here of Cam Newton. You know, pretty much, pretty much rocking the do-rag, the shaved head. Why does it show up like this now? So essentially, I mean, type four hair. Looks like he's been growing it for, you know, six, to eight, six months to a year. And the best thing about this type of hairstyle is that if you do leave it, it will start to clump together. It will start to make dreads on their own. Now, a lot of people with this hair type might use the dread sponge to start something like this, but the free form route normally being the best route. Now we can see here Cam rocking the headbands, pushing his hair up quite a bit. Here again, we see the headband pushing his hair up. I like the bleach goatee kind of going on down here. And uh, when you move from like this kind of hoodie look notice how the hoodie is very tight on his neck as well doesn't fit in time his dreads have started to form together they've gone super saiyan in a sense because they have started to stand up on end be all crazy with the baby locks the only thing he's missing is the bleach blonde and i like the way that his dreads are forming here really freely and you can see how they're clumping kind of at the top versus um on the sides where they are also clumping on the sides as well which leaving this kind of area here that doesn't have any locks but that will fill in in time as his hair grows out longer as his hair comes down pretty cool picture there looks like he's blowing fire and, uh, and as you see his hair more recently <laughs> i swear when people freeform their dreads like this they become happier individuals you can kind of see like a crown happening on the top where it's been pinched here and the sides now becoming bangs that are gonna fall forward in front of his face. Um, here we see his locks at a shorter stage where they kind of look like they've been pressed down from the helmet. Now, in my opinion, this is Cam Newton's helmet hair, helmet head hairstyle. Um, I don't think that it's gonna really interfere with how his locks are forming because essentially once you take off your helmet and your hair's looking a little flat, all you gotta do is shake it out and it's back to normal. Same with wearing headphones as well. It's kind of the same movement. So if you are interested in growing some free form locks like this, obviously you gotta stop brushing your hair. You gotta wash and go. Um, you're not even really, you're not even really drying your hair with a towel. You're letting it more so air dry because what happens is when you wet your hair, cold water washes, it activates the curls in your head in your hair and you can basically see the dread pattern starting to form out of curls and once these curls clump together they will eventually pinch and then when this pinch happens now you know your hair is starting to lock and that's like the maturing stage so to really see cam coming from you know this sort of hairstyle right here all the way over to you know i guess more so like this inevitably like this into his final stage of dreads, more so like this. And then if you look over on his Instagram page here, we can really see where he's at these days. 
which isn't too far off from that last photo I was showing you. It looks like he kind of gets them tapered at the front and the side here a little bit. But what we really notice here is Congos, finger dreads. Everything is coming together. Everything is clumping together. Going to be creating some really big locks, maybe even weekend type locks at the front, right behind the front. And ultimately, these types of locks are the most boosting in confidence because it really shows that you don't give a damn about who is watching your hairstyle, what people think about you. You know what's true inside your heart, you know what's true inside your soul, and you're repping these dreads to the fullest to be back to nature, to be back to organic roots. So I mean, super stoked on Cam Newton. Um, really appreciate you guys opening my eyes to such a great footballer fantastic dreadhead inspirational dreadhead showing the world that you too can grow fantastic locks naturally and freely so hopefully this is some encouragement to other people to start doing the same sort of hairstyle because essentially if cam can rock it like this you don't know a lot of us can rock the hair like this too and uh, really wild, and I like the way that he, he makes it look. I haven't seen a football NFL player with hair like him. And he does make it look pretty sleek. And you can see how the side taper does actually help with this. It does help making it look a little bit sleeker. But I like the way that he's got these big clumps happening here. I'm very interested to see how far he takes the length of these because um, once they start to get a lot bigger, they're not going to fit under the helmet as much unless he's got a really big helmet hookup. But hopefully he does, in fact, keep them growing. And I like that they, they even grew out from this. So definitely big ups Cam Newton for his Freeform Dreads. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video for Freeform Friday. Back at it once again. And I do have some fantastic news. I quit my job, one of my jobs so that I can dedicate more of my time back to YouTube. And um, and yeah, and if anyone's, anyone's ever asking or wondering when's the best time to quit your job to pursue something that you are passionate about, right now. The, time, the best time is right now to go and take a risk and take a chance with pursuing something that you love to do and your dreams and fulfilling goals. Because at the end of the day, if you chase your dreams and you fail at it, you can always go back and find another job, especially a shitty job if that's what you're into, working shitty jobs. That's the way it is. So lots more videos to come. Stay tuned. Collabo's on the way on this channel as well. And I definitely look forward to seeing you guys and your beautiful faces. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what's up. XD's in the chat. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, one love, not nation. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Adios. Give me a shine.